Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Gaming Quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all. The holiday season is upon us and we are getting a rerun of the old Dragonal units on a summoning showcase. But that's not all, we also got three mana spirals for Dragon Yule adventurers. Let's take a look at them. Let's start with Dragon Yule Nefaria. She got some interesting changes that can make her really good now. I, at least I think so. Her first skill, Stall Squall Shot, gains only a few percent in damage, but her Frostbite Affliction deals a bit more damage now. Her second skill, Special Delivery, gets a completely new effect. Nefaria used to be only able to give out shields with her Force Strike, but now using Special Delivery gives all nearby allies a one-use shield that nullifies damage less than 20% of the user's HP and increases their energy level by three stages and gives Nefaria two gifts which she then can use to distribute more shields and increase people's energy levels by another three stages. Well, be noted, this, the shields can stack upon each other, at least I think so. This basically means she can give people a level 5 energy buff super quickly now. And since the SP costs haven't increased at all, and well, she's a bow unit, so she can have that skill up pretty often. Her first ability increases her personal DPS by a bit, making her 25% skill damage boost into a 35% damage boost. That is quite the buff and helps Nefaria deal more damage. She turns into a potent burn res unit and her third ability gains a new name, Queen of Smiles. When her combo count is 15 or higher, the chance to inflict freeze with her normal attacks gets way higher than before and she also does increased damage to frostbitten enemies. I really like the approach they did with Dragon Yule Nefaria. They didn't simply buff her mods like what a lot of people like to see. They gave her whole kit the ability to make her stronger if played right. Use the energy effect to make her skills hit harder, the buff to her first ability also helps with that. Her Queen of Smiles ability is really good and if you keep your combo up, which shouldn't be difficult as a bow unit, you can deal even more damage when the enemy is afflicted to Frostbite. I did Spiral her and I think she's, she's neat, she's really cool now. I mean, I, I liked her before the spirals, but well, she's, she's even more viable now. Let's talk about Dragon Yule Sainfried. His whole kit is based around increasing crit rate and shape shifting, and well, they haven't touched that aspect, but made his personal DPS higher. His first skill, Dragon Gift, gets a small 2% increase of critical rate than what he gave before. That's not a lot, but it's something. His only natural attacking skill, Breath of the Yuletide, also doesn't really get much stronger, but raises the Dragon Gauge by 9% instead of 5%. As with Nefaria, his second skill gets a whole new effect. Once Sainfried has shapeshifted in the fight once, the increase of his Dragon Gauge gets even higher. This plays very well into his third ability, but let's take a look at the others first. His Primed Strength ability gives a 15% buff instead of 8% now, which can make him a good backline unit and also helps improve his own DPS when used in co-op. He turns into a potent Park Res, I mean, <coughs> potent Bark Res unit. His third ability gets a huge buff. Sainfried can get up to 3 strength increases in a fight with a total of 40% increase after his third shapeshift has ended. That's pretty nutty if you ask me, considering you can get his dragon gauge up super quickly if you use his second skill and maybe even also use Galamim's shared skill. So Sainfried's mana spiral seems to focus on increasing his own personal DPS via changing his kit, not by just blindly increasing numbers. It's an interesting approach and I do appreciate the thought behind it. I think his spiral helps him quite a bit and if you like Sainfried, this should be a safe spiral. It's not gonna make him busted, but absolutely viable. At least I think so. Let's talk about the unit I will never be able to pull because she hates me, Dragon Yule Cleo. Her first skill, Starlit Gift, gets a small increase in numbers. More importantly though, her freeze mechanic is changed to make the players have more control over when to freeze the enemy, like with Renee for example. Clear's next force strike after using Starlit Gift will now inflict freeze with a 200% chance. That is pretty crazy. If you use this skill on a helper or as a shared skill, it will inflict freeze with a chance of 140%. The new force strike effect will obviously not be activated when used on another character. Her second skill only gets a small increase in numbers, but no new effect. 
The changes to her first ability make Cleo a bit more tankier, since now she not only gets an increase in strength, but also in defense when her HP is above 70% or more. Cleo turns into a potent stun res unit, and a combo count needed to get an energy level up on her third ability is lowered to 20 instead of 30. They didn't really do much with Dragon Duel Cleo, and I feel like they didn't really need to anyway. She already is a pretty good unit without her spiral, and this just makes her a little bit better. Compared to the other two spirals, she does indeed seem like the unit with the least changes, but I feel like that's because she didn't really need that much. Or at least that's what I can gather, since I can't speak from first-hand experience, because Cleo won't come home! <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's talk about the last mana spiral, Dragon Yule Sander. His mana spiral... He didn't spiral. get a mana spiral! What? He, he didn't get a mana spiral? For real? What the heck, Psy Games? The true king deserves a mana spiral? This is not okay! This is absolutely not okay! <sighs> well, I guess that's it then. Please tell me in the comments below what you think about these spirals and if you've spiraled any one of them. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, leave a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for more Trokea Last content and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, join us in the Discord, the link is in the description below. We talk about Trokea Last a lot and also other gaming related things. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!